great to be with you and yes thanks for joining us and of course we've got you covered online on air and of course keeping you and your families informed prepared and connected most importantly calm and safe so here's the deal we've got the very latest here at 11 a.m in fact we're going to hear from the hurricane center here shortly but the latest number still showing a likely tropical system developing as we head into late weekend and early next week right now you can see the problem child it's the caribbean showers and storms breaking out and as we take a closer look that's a 70 percent chance of a named system and it looks like the next name on the list would be called Idalia. all right so Idalia would be that name now uh, let's take a closer look at what's happening we've got the big storms in the caribbean really firing up in fact if we take another look at this uh, we're talking about those storms at times with tops of 60,000 feet but it's a very broad area of low pressure. We don't have much organization with this system as it's trying to get developed. So this will be a very slow, gradual development over the weekend. That's why you need to check in with us. Our weather team's here the rest of today. Bobby's here. Uh, we'll also have some uh, questions we can answer over the weekend if you want to check in with us. But for now, a lot of this circulation is over the land areas of Central America and the Yucatan Peninsula uh, back toward Cuba. But this is the, the problem. Once this low pressure organizes more and gets over the warm Gulf waters away from land, it's likely to ramp up and it could do so in a hurry as we head into next week, especially Monday and Tuesday. One of the big reasons we've been talking about this all summer, it's been a long hot summer and that includes our water temperatures well above average. Notice near 90 degrees here in Tampa still. And as we expand the scope, this is like high octane fuel for these systems as they really start to draw in all that energy toward their center. And it's likely going to really cause the system to ramp up to at least a tropical storm. But we also have a lot of wind shear in the atmosphere. So this is going to help us. This would be one of those storms where we're not expecting a vigorous hurricane by any means, but we will see a tropical system. But notice you see the green shading and the blue. There's our little wind shear chart as we head through Sunday and Monday and this while it should develop the wind shear in the atmosphere hopefully will keep it from becoming one of those monster storms and that's not what we're expecting with this this is going to be more of a rainmaker for us here in florida and we'll also have to watch that severe weather risk with those isolated tornadoes so just keep checking back with us this is the shear map all the way through tuesday the latest euro model shows why there's concern okay so we talked about that broad low pressure this weekend kind of disorganized right Watch what happens as we head into Sunday, Monday. All right, so you're going to start to see the isobars come together. Central low pressure develop with thunderstorms developing and wrapping around its center. So once it gets that circulation, uh, likely we'll start to see a possible named system, tropical depression or a tropical storm, Idalia, as we head into later Monday into Tuesday. And notice with the upper flow, that would bring it right close to Tampa, just to our west as we head into late Tuesday into Wednesday. And again, the big concern for us will be the banding of the very heavy rain, the training of rain. Notice because it's right to our west. So we get some very heavy rain in some areas. Also with those bands, sometimes severe weather and isolated tornadoes. As far as winds and rain, let's take a look. As it scoots toward the big bend and scoots across northeast Florida, plenty of rain. I still think mainly a rainmaker uh, for us here in Florida. Look how just chock full of moisture it is, bringing all that tropical moisture from the Caribbean. And where you see the deep reds and oranges, that's where we could see some of those rain mounts easily over six inches plus. That does include Hillsborough, Pasco, and Pinellas counties, and then off to the first coast of Florida, and then off the Carolina coast, up towards Savannah, and areas of Charleston and Myrtle Beach. Wind speeds, pretty interesting. You saw it go by pretty quick there, uh, but as we take a look, we would have a strong southwest wind, and at times we could see some wind gusts of 40, 50, and in some cases 60 miles per hour. That would be mainly late Tuesday into Wednesday. All right, so what you need to know, my big three, the models are coming together. Looks like, yes, likely a tropical system next week. So we've all got all weekend. We'll check our supply lists here at 10 Tampa Bay. We've got uh, different areas. You can go to our YouTube to get some of those tips on not just supplies, what to do if a, a tropical system comes your way. Because I know a lot of us have moved to the Tampa area. So we've got you covered, whether you've been here all your life or you just got to town. Now, second thing, local impacts would be Tuesday and Wednesday. It'd be late Tuesday into Wednesday. So it's that two day period. And then heavy rain, winds of 40 to 60, like we discussed, and maybe some isolated tornadoes. And again, this could change. All right, if it stays over land areas or the Yucatan a little longer, it would tear the system apart. And maybe we'll just get the uh, needed rain. But for now, we're going to keep all the weather threats up here on the board. Looks like a strong tropical storm affecting us as we head into the middle of next week. And of course, we'll keep you updated here at 10 Tampa Bay, keeping you informed, prepared, and connected.